Okay. Uh, so welcome back. Uh, this time, let's go take a look at our ranking. 43, so we're top 50, so that's pretty cool. Um, we'll see how we end up doing. Uh, I am insanely tired. I was actually about to pass out like two few minutes ago, and then I remembered I had Guild War, so that kind of shook me out of it. Um, so let's get in here. Uh, let's go take a look at how we did. Of course, we got stomped on. Uh, 18 hours. so we did pretty well um, lower team 1-1 one, one, top team 1-1 one, one, and they both got kind of dumped on by uh, that last attack there so that's fine um, compared to a lot of other people see about the same so what he had as a defense yeah about the same see how this guy's doing Well, this guy's doing pretty well. Two two wins. Yeah, Kron's pretty good. Or is that hold on. My brain is like tripping balls right now. Kron. Yeah, Kron. That's him. Yep. Ugh, this is bad. Um so let's uh so we're not supposed to attack this as per uh the little uh text box here that commands our entire guild. Um, so I'm probably gonna hit this tower. Mm, it's gonna knock over some easily knock overable towers, maybe like this one. Ugh, this is already irritating. Um, <sighs> I'm interested in seeing what why this Hyceria is here. It's kind of weird. Not sure. What does she do? She like strips into the unbuffable on the S3. That's about it. Uh, let's let's deal with that one at the end, I guess. I don't know. Usually you want to save your best units for here, but I think uh, we can take over some towers right now that um, without too much cost to us, and we'll get some of these points out of the way. Uh, this one down here looks insanely irritating. Um, I want someone to go along with him that can take some of this stuff uh, da -da -dum. yeah there's not a lot of options I can put down there uh, let's put you here I mean what about that how does that look Ooh, I, I almost forgot that I needed to change something there. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, team two over here looks pretty interesting. Uh, where is? So let's try you. You and you. I don't know how I wanted that third slot. What about Charles? Charles looked like a good option. There's a lot of AoE going on here. Uh, I don't have any, um, what's it called? So yeah, I think Charles might be fine. This looks like a really poor, a really bad idea, but you know, let's, let's just go in there and see what happens. Um, but the thing that I was I, need, I needed to say there was I need to swap off my Zerato here. He's on um, he's on that new like grinding artifact for the XP. I use him for farming. Well, I use him as the main farmer right now because um, I'm also I also want him to gain friendship. Like he's he's just he's also farming like you know. He's, he's clearing maps, let's change this too, as well as uh, I'm farming friendship on him, so that's kind of why he has that, because he can do both at the same time. Um, but yeah, so let's put the Ayelas. The Ayelas not the best thing here, just because they're not going to get a lot of buffs, but, um, you know, what else are you going to put on a uh, on him? Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh... 
hopefully I can just crowd the uh, seaside Bologna and um, you know go on from there uh, let's see if he resists get this on camera it's always important I always like to kind of check these things okay so he didn't resist which is fine um, it's not bad it's just funny um, at least in arena like you, you get, I, I use him a lot in arena right uh, my DJ Basar and uh, obviously there's a lot of people running around with um, Basar's on defense not anymore actually so much it's actually gone down quite a bit which is kind of interesting uh, but for a while I mean it's like you'll see you'll see them every, every you used to see them everywhere they're, they're a little less common now but they're still there of course um, but yeah like it's really funny to see Basar like with seven effect resistance just kind of randomly be um, resisting DJ Basar randomly just resisting Basars. It's like a 50% chance to happen for some reason. It's so odd to me. Uh, so this is probably Ayala's. Yeah, it is. Um, so there, uh, of course, she got the uh, uh, the debuff, which is fine. Um, we're gonna get counterattacked here, but this should be not bad. Well, let's see what kind of damage numbers we're looking at with this here. That's not bad. Um, he's actually almost dead, so we're good. Come on. Nope. Okay. So how about we hit you? I need to hit uh, Caesarado with something that'll kill him. Um, let's do this. Come on. Just die. Okay. I don't know. Why, I don't know why I'm being greedy. Oh man, this is bad. Oh, I guess he died anyway. I don't know why I was being greedy with the Crow uh, S3 there, but you know, whatever. Um, that team was actually so weak that I think like um, ML Crow would be good there, and obviously like I'm really kind of like you know, you're licking your lips, savoring the uh, meals to come kind of a thing going there, and I'm like really like <laughs> looking forward to uh, uh, ML Crow, so I'm just kind of like every, at every opportunity just looking for any situations where he might be uh, he might be useful. Uh, so this is kind of bad. Hopefully we're all tanky enough to survive this. Uh, yeah. So she never does like so much damage that you're just gonna get immediately one shot. But it's not. It's not good. You don't really want to uh, be playing around with her too much. Uh, then we get the S2. It's fine. We missed on both. At least she didn't counter. So you know we're good for that. Okay. So this is kind of where our damage comes in a little bit, is the fact that we can get these defense breaks, and uh, and then um, obviously her, she's gonna come and attack him every time, and I'm gonna get these counters off. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I need to heal someone and give them the immunity, which probably, well, this kind of sucks because neither of them can get it. So let's get these two buffs off of you, and then I'll, I'll S2. Hopefully she can go. And skip ahead here real quick. Nope. Yeah, so she got the stun on her, which is fine. This uh this T Siren is doing a decent amount of damage here. She's not on lifesteal, I don't think. I mean I feel like she should be doing more damage if she was. Um or not not more damage. Uh, obviously not more damage. Um but I feel like she'd be doing um she'd be able to survive a little more. Um Oh she is on lifesteal. That's kinda weird how fragile she's being here. Yep, so that's that. Um, let's see if I can sleep you. Nope. This is a bad idea. Oh, that's fine. But that's, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, this is pretty good because now he's gonna Cesarado's gonna counter while she's defense broken so at least we got one small hit in there we didn't get to crit unfortunately um my Cesarado doesn't have the best crit like he actually has exactly 69 um i don't remember uh <laughs> planning it out that way but uh, he does so that's pretty nice uh as always um so at this point we don't have like our Zerato not going to counter much because the um there's not a whole lot of debuffs being, you know, spewed out here. Uh, but oh, there we go. 
Um, other than like the spam, her spamming her S1, which is just gonna stun, and he he he's not gonna get any counters. Uh, then let's clear that off with this. But we can't really die, so we just have to like slowly whittle him down here. See what kind of damage I'm doing. So 950. See what we're looking at here. 950 with the S3. Uh, 8k off of a uh, defense break. It's not too bad. Um, especially on such a tanky uh, unit. Most people build their... Uh, their, what's it called? Their dizzy is pretty tanky, so that's pretty interesting. Some decent damage, I think. Yeah, so basically, like I said, this they can't win now. We just got to sit here. Um, and again, this is another example of a good team that a uh, crowd would be good into. Because you just hit them constantly and, like, they can't do anything about it. Um, like, there's no healing. So they're just going to get hit over and over again. It's just a matter of time. You bring like an ML Crow and like an ML Tywin or, or him. ML Crow, him and her, and there you go. Um, replace Alencia with ML Crow and you're good. Because instead of the S3, her S3, you S3 with him. Every time the AoE, you get a shield. You get to heal from her. Uh, let's do this. You get a shield from her, and then he he's just constantly going over and over again because you're taking AoEs. Um, because, like, you know, Dizzy's there AoEing you. Let's hit this. Actually doing pretty decent damage against this uh, uh, Lilius with my Alencia, which is, I think, kind of interesting, given uh, elemental disadvantage. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's go fight some other tower, try to knock it over. This one's looking pretty low. I think we can beat this one in a sec. Um, yeah, see, this is another interesting example where, like, ML Crow would be kind of interesting. Um, this Yuna right here is kind of worrying me. But, I don't think it's anything too bad. So maybe, I think maybe just running this again would be fine. Um, only problem, like, the problem is, it's like, Yuna is going to be giving people, uh, the buff, whatever, the, um, the attack and speed buff but that that shouldn't be too bad i mean it might be it's probably just gonna be a lot better than like getting hit by like an ssb or something up here mm, what am i what am i thinking about up here What if we do like... Um, where are you again? Down here. What if we do something with ox slots? Like ox slots... With uh... Where's Euphine at? I really gotta like max out Euphine's um... Euphine's thing here. And then maybe like a reviver, obviously, maybe my, um, or, okay, so my, my plan is to like S3, or use her, S, boost her, S3 him, um, but then she's going to be attacking someone, so yeah, it's not a good idea, I don't think. Like, she's going to be right on her, um, and she's just going to die immediately. Uh, and then she's got enough AoE to kill him, and then, no, that's too much reviving. That's too much necessity for revival that is being placed onto Ruel, and Ruel can only really revive one at a time, so let's not do that. Maybe like this. You. No, that's probably not a good idea either, is it? Maybe what I had here originally was fine, right? Like, Crow. Yeah, maybe maybe just taking that team back into this again. Let's hope that uh, 
Oh, that Lilius is going to be all over my, um... Where's Crow at? Here he is. That Lilius is going to be attacking my Charles, which is kind of irritating, because she'll S1 my Charles, and then probably bring Charles along, and then he'll die. Um... So that's kind of irritating. Um... What do we bring to this? I guess maybe like SSB is the safest thing. SSB with uh, like her. How's that look? You don't have enough healing, I think. I think I might just have to bring like uh, this guy here. But the the attack buff from the Charles is kind of what's worrying me, right? Like, I need to be my own. Sorry, I'm like, my eyes are very dry right now. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm like thinking this much about beating such an old team. Um, Yeah, maybe I'm just I might just go like Charles with uh, where yeah, no, I, I really need a cleanser so I have to go with uh, you This would be really easy if I had like Dark Corvus or something um, Do I want to go with this? I think so Hopefully I just I don't know hopefully I don't lose uh, DJ Basar and end up just dying. Let's just do it I mean there's no real reason to like run around debating it too much uh, so we got to go first that's cool they all got immunity which is fine let us who is the main thing here she's fine it's just gonna be Charles let's get damage on Charles here Okay, 17 and 17. Wow, both of those uh, did the same amount of damage to him. Okay, so here comes Charles with the S3. So he's got 17k HP. Let's see how much damage he ends up doing here. Eh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, and then she's going to hit back pretty hard, presumably. Yep. Actually, that was not even like as bad as like the Charles was. See, so we've hit this Charles like three times, he hasn't countered, so I don't... Or I don't know if he's on counter set. She's got a lot of HP, interestingly enough. And no crit chance, apparently. I don't know what's up with that. Um, I feel like we just hit the Charles with this and see if he dies. Uh, yeah, let's just see what happens, because... I mean, they can't heal, so this isn't like it's gonna be like, oh, it's not enough. Like, it's not enough. Obviously, he's not gonna die. Um, now, but for one, I resisted all of that apparently. Okay, so now she's countering, and now we counter, and Charles, Charles should be dead. Um, and then Lily, uh, and then uh, Lilius with uh, dual attacking with SSB isn't really that big a deal, so we should be fine. And she's stunned, so. The dual, what dual attacks, right? Um, so let's hit you because I don't want you to be hitting him. I will focus on you because you don't have a barrier. Very nice. Let's burn. Look, uh, this is nice because now I get to waste SSB stacks, a little bit of her stacks, right? So I'm hitting for two people even though she can only gain one stack. Um, so yeah, that, that went out, that went fine. Um, a lot of times the, the trouble with this team is like just bringing enough sustain to deal with SSBs because while she does a lot of damage over time, it's 
a lot of times it's not always as scary as it might seem like a lot of people are really trying to like build their ssb to survive a one shot because a lot of people think they focus the ssb uh, but thanks to that you can kind of like move around it now if you're getting kind of like half hit by ssb s2 and all that stuff again it comes back to like you're probably just being out geared um yeah so this is kind of bad this is actually excessively bad this is horrendous um, they all have speed buffs, so it's going to be harder for us to do literally anything. Oh my gosh, dude. That was some serious damage. Let's just see if I can hit you for a decent amount. So she's defense broken. Okay, excellent. That's not okay. Okay. Oh, very good. Thank you. That's basically what I needed. So now she's dead. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Um, now we just need to hopefully survive what's going on with all this nonsense. Uh, let's heal you because uh, we need you to stay alive to keep the healings coming. And uh, fortunately that came out the right way. Okay, cool. So this is actually going a lot better than I originally, like, it looked like, because they, I mean, they had, like, everything going perfect for them. The Yuna gave her the greater attack buff, you know, all the, you know, they had the immunity and all that stuff, and thankfully, Cesar Otto was untanky enough to, like, take that hit, so <laughs> he got the counter, he's getting the counters. Uh, it's all going very well, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with what's going on here. Uh, let's hit you. Nice. Let's hit you with this. Okay, so she's gonna S3, which is fine. Let's see what kind of damage we're looking at. I've actually never fought against like Yuna on defense, so or like in general, right? So let's kind of see what's what damage we're looking at here. Okay, so fortunately those buffs were gone because I, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure that would have done some serious damage. And of course, I just love taking Zerados into MLCCs because they just catch themselves in a loop of just constantly taunting him. It's hilarious. Um, I like taking him into uh, what's his name. ML Taiwan as well, but like ML Taiwan only has like a 75% chance, so it's not always guaranteed. But it's still fun to take him in there because, you know, um, just throwing those debuffs back is amazing. Uh, so, how about we knock over this tower here? Uh, I just don't, I hate fighting against Riolus. I really need to get my um, Falconer Clary uh, up to par to, to deal with that. Let's see. Alright, so we're, let's come back here. Let's see if I can deal with this here. This is a lot, uh, a lot of damage to be dealing with here. This top team. Let's, uh... The speed tuning with my Lilibet and my, um, what's his name? My Oxlots is not great, I have to say. Yeah, it's not very good. Because, like, every time I can Oxlots uh, S2 her, like, it's already basically her turn. <laughs> Except for, obviously, the first turn, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I find that kind of annoying to me. I don't know what to do about that. You have to like sit there and calculate how many turns and how the the, the turn order the turn order uh, turns out and all that stuff and it's just like ugh. Okay, so let's think about what's going to happen here. So my two options are going to be Ruel of Light, or uh, what's his name, uh, General Pergus, right? So what I'm thinking is, Oxlots him, Oxlots her, wipe him out so he's basically out of the game. Uh, then I just got these two, and these two will focus on General Pergus. She's going to S3, right? So it's going to hit everybody, but that's fine. Uh, and then he's going to S3 General Pergus, and then start boosting us up, and then she'll take her time S3ing Perg. Um, which will give my little bit time to just free fire in the, from the back line on her, and then when her S3's up, uh, hit him. That's the plan anyway. Um, let's just see what happens, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's, I mean, I just have to, like, if I draw this top one, it'll be, like, if I lose this top one and get the second one, I'll still knock the tower over, so that's pretty cool. 
um, theoretically, uh, I, you know, I beat this bottom one here. Let's put you there. What about you? Oh, I don't know. What about, uh, where are you? What about you? There we go. That looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, let's see how this turns out. Uh, famous last words, I guess. Let's see what happens. Oh, I knew it, dude. Um, that that real dude is what? Some, look at that. We'll look at. You'll see the stats right now I have on him. But like, gosh, damn, this team is ridiculous. Um, let's see if I can actually kill this guy. Cause okay, he's dead anyway, so that's fine. Okay, very cool. Um. So this actually, we're actually in some trouble here because um, G Perg might not actually survive everything that's gonna come his way. I mean, look at that, 26, almost 26k HP with like 17k defense, I think, something like that. And he's almost dead. Like he he was two thirds hit by this Riolu. Like I'm telling you, this guy is insane. Um, like he was a he was a meme, you know. When he first came out, I think and he was, I think he was anyway. Um, not like the biggest meme, but like, I mean, he was all right. Like, it was just that like, he either, see what I mean? Like, okay, so now it's basically her turn. She still has the two turn attack buff. It's like, what am I supposed to do here? Is there just S1 again? I mean, if I hit this, it's not going to matter because he's, he's only going to S1 anyway. So I, I just have to do this. Uh, so I think yeah I think the problem is it's like we lost here it's just uh, take an L here uh, and he's gonna die from this S1 yeah unfortunate see what I mean like what is this speed tuning it's so irritating and my Lilibet is very slow I don't know how she's so close in speed to my Oxalots it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me What's going on here with this? This gives you 15, which is pretty funny because you don't actually get any um, CR boost from this. Okay, so he's dead, which is great. And now she's dead. Oh, no, she's not. Um, now she is. So yeah, like I said, I mean, that team was kind of like... There was really no beating that Riolu uh, without, I mean, for one, he was faster than 242 speed on my uh, Ox slots, right? So, what are you going to do against that? Like, for me anyway, my, my account doesn't have anybody faster than Ox slots. He's at, uh, he's already at, he's 242, at, that's about as fast as I can make him. <laughs> well, I can make him 247, 251 at most. And that's probably barely tying that Riolu, so... Uh, Fortunately, we lost a the gear there, I guess. Not a whole lot to, to be done about it. Um, let's kind of see, uh, I guess, the strategy here for their team. Uh, of course, uh, you know, who needs strategy when you got Charles, right? <laughs> um, the strategy, I guess, on their team is to have Isaria doing, like, like do the strip that she did and then just kind of do consistent damage over time with the defense break. Uh, have her here for, like, revival and healing and then have Charles, you know, do whatever Charles does in general. Um, so let's just hit you. Uh, unfortunately, I, I actually think that Charles might counter here. Oh, no, he didn't, so that's fine. Uh, irritatingly enough, let's see if we can survive what's coming out of this. So 15k. Oof. And she's going to revive, or not, well, I mean, she's not dead, but basically she's going to S3 the uh, Iceria. Um, I don't know. See if he's on counter. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, cool. Okay, so I really feel like that Iceria sh should have more effectiveness. 
Um, like my okay, so a Momo usually build it with a lot of effectiveness, but she doesn't have as much effectiveness as she uh, effect resistance as she could. She's only got like 150. I feel like that's something you should be easily able to overcome, but that's interesting regardless, I guess. Oof, let's see if she dies. Oh, it's close. Uh, she needs that heal though. Let's let's taunt you. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, thank you. Be careful. Of course she got the defense break with her team up there. Fortunately we have this, so we can clear that and heal her. Um come on, please kill the Charles. Oh, please die on the die on the uh, poison stacks. Yes, thank you, okay. Uh, then we can kill you. Ugh. Um, so that's pretty irritating. But we're getting stacks on uh, S10A there, so that's cool. Okay, so this actually, I, I didn't notice it before, but I actually did quite a bit of damage the first time to uh, S10A. Okay, so yeah, it's not that much damage. It's not that much damage, Phil. Um, so yeah, it's not that much damage, so fortunately it wasn't too bad. Um, let's clear these debuffs and then try to push them back. So like I said, uh, the bottom team was really the more, like, I, I had a higher chance of, of winning at it, but um, it's still very, it was still very, like, it wasn't a guarantee. Um, do I want a soul burn this? No, I'll keep the soul burn, because she's probably going to revive the, um, what's his name, the Charles at some point here, and I really want to, I need to save it for that. Okay, so where are we looking at here? So yeah, it's up already. Well, I guess we should just kill her. Come on. Oh, come on. Lilius never giving you a moment's uh, respite. Um, let's do this. So she's dead. Um, and then we'll hit you with this. Funnily enough, I actually do have a pretty decent... Um, Stun rate on Ruel's, even though I only have like 20 something F res. I mean, it's not that high. Is the bottom line is it's what's strange, it's not that high, and I still tend to stun them. The ideal scenario here would be for her to revive not Charles, um, is basically what that turned down to be. Um, let's just hit you, I guess. Oh, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Let's hit you again. Okay, so it's looking like the um, her stacks are, are doing pretty well here. So come on! Wow. Uh, hopefully you guys are keeping track of this because that was. I've only gotten one dual attack with her, and I mean the reason you bring Lilius into Guild War over a lot of other stuff is because she does in fact uh, have a higher chance of bringing the Tenebria, but. Uh, not so for some sometimes. Um, yeah, he's basically dead. Come on, please bring Tenebria. Oh, thank you. Well, he just died off of the S1 regardless whether she was there or not. So like I said, uh, fortunately we got to knock that tower over, so that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> we're contributing. Um, but th this is what I'm talking about uh, in terms of like being in this guild. Is this the one I attack? No, it's not. Actually, that, this one looks pretty easy. Uh, being in this guild, um, I attacked this just because I, you know, I felt like you know I could at least take this bottom one and you know, better me to do it that'll that'll probably lose on this top one than someone else. Um, but you know, this is what I'm saying. Like we're in a top, I'm in a top fifty guild now, so like I can't just go into every team, every guild war, and be like, oh yeah, we're just gonna you know fight all the towers and see what we do, because uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna end well, um, especially as we start climbing higher. Uh, you got to be more judicious and make sure you you know you you contribute more and you and you know every attack you want to give yourself the best chance of winning because again you're contributing to a team so if you fail one it's not like oh i just fell that one that's fine it, it only reflects against me um your tokens give you havoc and you know it decides who wins or loses um so you know um it's still not very good that i lost that uh i don't is it i don't know i actually don't know um would I have gotten more Havoc? Maybe. But yeah, like I'm saying, like you really just want to kind of be more judicious with your attacking, so that's why I'm not like 
running around trying to like you know show off all the all the forts besides a lot of these like even smaller towers are probably comparable into what you know when i was in my old guild comparable to a lot of their main forts um just just how good you know these people are up here you know like i said let's go take a look at my um my gperg so it, none of you think i'm lying here Look at how tanky this uh, this guy is. So twenty six k HP. This thing here, eight. It's so even more, even higher defense than I thought. Eighteen k uh, defense, and that Riolu made you know short work of him while having two forty speed, above two forty speed. Oh, and I guess I should show my um. How are you? Well, here's my. If anybody likes to, I, I know Zerato builds are always kind of like, hey, what's going on with that Zerato? Um, this is my Zerato build again, not the best, but uh, you know, 250. If I if I reforge this right here, I got six crit damage, so it's up to 31. So 250 crit damage is pretty good. Um, get two crit chance off of this, so uh, 71 crit chance. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad because you know if you bring him into a situation where he'll, he'll counter a lot, and then he's got uh, cleaves for everything. Like everything hits either two or or everybody with his S three. Uh, so you know you've got more chances to um, to crit than than normal, right? You're not just one shotting, and it's like oh, I, I'm relying on that one shot to crit, or else I'm going to lose. So because of his consistency of attacks, it's like you know you can kind of uh, cheat on the uh, resist, uh, the the critical ch hit chance a little bit. Um, of course, I want to bring that up, but you know, I need gear, so there's a few pieces. Again, this is a pretty decent one. Um, obviously, you want more crit damage. Like, you could get 30 before a refine, and then you know, hopefully, you know, just get something even crazier after the refine. But that's as best as I got. This one's kind of decent. Uh, I like the crit chance here. Maybe I should boost it, get some more attack. Um, but yeah, he didn't have like the best gear. Is the Vaughn line? This is actually pretty decent because you'll get three more crit chance, I think, off of this. Which three plus the uh, plus the two from there is five, gets me up to seventy four crit chance. Then I just gotta find like a better necklace and a better ring, honestly. This is a pretty good ring for him. Ah, uh, but the speed—you don't really want the speed. I mean, that could have been crit chance or something. Anyway, this isn't this isn't a Zerato uh, showcase. Uh, mainly came down here for one to show off uh, my Spectre Shinobi. I've, I've shown her in a few videos, but I'm actually uh, very, very happy where, with where she is right now. I want to uh, boost this artifact, of course, but like, <laughs> let's go look here. I look at how many resources I'm giving up. Like, that, that's a lot. That's not, you know, that's not nothing. I'm giving up all that to get 1% extra uh, damage on debuffed enemies. Um, eventually, I'm going to max this, uh, of course, but uh, for now, it's all right where it is. Now twenty eight percent is nothing to sneeze at. Um, and she's got decent gear. Uh, I like where she's at. Like I said, I like where she's at. But she could always be better. Um, a lot of these pieces are kind of like the suck. So I mean, th these two are pretty good. Uh, twenty one percent crit chance and like decent like other stats. This is here because it's got fifteen speed and uh, one roll into uh, crit chance. So you know gonna be a while before I can replace this uh, this only has like three crit chance which again it's kind of suck but um, you know decent speed with like good sub stats for her because you don't always I mean what's great about her is you don't always want to just shove everything into uh, attack because she gains attack from from the uh, well not that from this um, thanks to this she can uh, cleave or you know just you know yeah cleave and then the, the poison stacks, they're not always the greatest, but like it's it's something. Um, and then you know this scales off of the uh, how many scales off of how many uh, debuffs they have on them, so it's good for executing people once you've you know done it a while. Once you've got enough like a few poison stacks on them, and then you know running around 200 speed, and you know you can, again like 205, and maybe pull some more when I when I get more. Like this this piece is pretty cool, 16 attack plus the 13 speed. Um, but all in all, like I said, I, I like where she's at. Um, there are some pieces that I need to replace. This maybe eventually. Uh, this is pretty good. I probably I might just boost this piece. Honestly, I know it's uh, not a good piece to boost because usually you want to boost things that are like 
heavily focused because you, you get more out of pieces that are, are heavily weighted to one stat. So when you have like a 30 something stat, it'll boost it up to like, it'll give you like six or seven extra points in that stat where here I'm going to get like, you know, two points here and there overall. Um, so you get more from, from the more rolls that are uh, consolidated into one, one stat. But uh, like I said, I might just kind of like you know bite the bullet and, and um, boost this to so 205. Uh, this is the this is another problem of like you know what's going on here is is this this piece is a 78 piece I can't boost it unfortunately, but it turned out it's just like hard to give up you know 22 21 percent HP. She's got de decent survivability. She just has to kind of survive some of the some of the AOE stuff and then uh, proceeds to do whatever because she can't hit her. Um, the the uh, Speed is, you know, obviously important on her. Uh, crit chance, obviously, you always want crit chance, and then, you know, obviously, the effectiveness is is not too bad on her. Like I said, I do find it kind of interesting that I'm. Oh, she gets attacked. That's very cool. Hopefully, I can pull another one and give her the imprint. Um, she only has thirty six effectiveness, so that's kind of interesting. This sword right here is probably one of the easiest things I can replace because I mean, look at all this that rolled into effect resistance. It's so bad. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, hopefully I can get another piece like this with good speed, good uh, attack and crit chance, and then, you know, just something down here that isn't this, or have this real reallocated to something else. Um, but yeah, so, there's a few upgrades I can make, but where she is, she's pretty good, and, uh, I like her. I think I might pair her with, like, ML Crow, and, uh, yeah, like, ML Crown, maybe, like, Ruel on a defense team, that sounds pretty scary, because you can't AoE... Uh, because obviously she's gonna get uh, the barrier, um, and Crow's gonna get his S3 up faster, and then she just kind of comes in and starts executing with her with her S3 and her S1s. Um, so yeah, I mean that, that sounds like a pretty interesting defense team. I don't think ML Crow though is like too well suited for defense. I think you just like one shot him. Well, I don't know. There had to be some testing with uh, what's his name, the. Uh, Watcher Shuri, or or just someone good at one shotting, um, but I think I think I think it'd be fine. Um, oh, I forgot to show my ox slots. That's but I, the main thing I wanted to go. Let's, let's go back, I guess. Uh, obviously, if if you didn't you know if you didn't care about any of this, you probably clicked off already. Uh, and if you did care, then you could just speed up to this point. Um, let's go look at the ox slots. <laughs> um, you know this is obviously the ghetto ox slots, the ghetto special. Uh, when you have your ox slots not at fifty, because it's like why. Uh, but you really do kind of want them at 50 just because so you can survive more. You can, like, boost the stats a little higher. Um, what's this here? Yeah, so health, attack, and speed. Obviously, this isn't boosted. Uh, this, so I can get a little more speed out of him. 242 is not his max. Um, I can boost this, get five more, so it's 247. And then when I, when I upgrade this, it goes up to 18. So that's four more. So 247, that's 251 speed. Like I said, it's not even like that big a deal because if I hit 251 speed, I'm probably just barely tying that um, that Riolu. And it's like, do I really want to go there? Not to mention that Riolu had so much speed with so much attack power. Like I've never seen a Riolu hit that hard uh, before on anyone. Um, yeah, so that's something to consider is... That fight wasn't lost because I didn't have enough speed. And a lot of fights with uh, with Oxlots or whatever happens there, like it, it, it comes down to like you know just gear a lot of the time, and, and that's what happened there. It was like that really was so over geared to where I am that I mean there's nothing I really could have done about it. Um, aside from like like I said, I really do need to start like building a really good flurry because I mean flurry's always been good. It's just that like you don't really want to prioritize her. But anyway, I like. This is all stuff that you know I can make separate videos of. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for today. Um, hopefully, uh, the Guild War was interesting. Um, as always, being in a top 50 guild, um, we'll have a lot of uh, more interesting battles going forward. Uh, as you can see here, 60, 20 to uh, 62, 60. Uh, it's not looking so good. They still have more tokens than us, and they have more points. So we'll see how things go. Um, but I, I'm not thinking we're gonna we're gonna win this one. Uh, so that's gonna kind of suck because we're gonna get dropped down pretty far, I think. Um, left tower. I just wanted to see why we're avoiding this tower, um, which I think 
this Roman might be a good reason. He might be like super fast and just unstoppable. Um, and this team obviously looks kind of irritating. Uh, what's her name? T. Surin is the new uh, the new part of this trio. This uh, Charles uh, Lil um, Charles uh, Cecilia team. Um, yeah, like th this is also a very expensive team because if you're gonna run it, you really need to run the um, immunity on all three of them. So they have to have like amazing stats to be able to fight everybody as well as having the immunity uh, because. Otherwise, you could just dizzy this team. So you know this team will, will lose to um, this team will lose to uh, data or like you know doing research or reporting in the guild chat or whatever Discord um, if they don't have immunity. Because if they don't have immunity, someone's gonna hit it and be like, oh, they don't have immunity, uh, and then you just bring dizzy here, and then you're solid. Um, <laughs> if you have a decent dizzy, my dizzy is kind of lacking a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so that's that, uh, you know, uh, I guess good luck to everyone out there and uh, try not to get dunked on, I guess.